Hello everyone. My name is Stephanie Pearson and I'm the treasurer of Kids on Track. I'm here to present the financial picture of our organization for the year ended August 31st, 2023. Our financial statements are an important tool for us to communicate our financial position and performance to our stakeholders, including our donors, volunteers, staff, and community partners. They help us to demonstrate our accountability, transparency, and stewardship of the resources entrusted to us. I'm pleased to report that our overall financial position is trending positively, and we are building a strong foundation for our core operating costs. Over the past three years, we have undergone significant changes, including moving to a new office, shifting our staff roles, and refocusing on the essential functions of our organization, administratively and on the program side. We have continued to adjust and adapt to the changes at KOT. These changes have helped us to become more efficient, effective, and sustainable in our operations, and to better serve the children, youth, and families in our community. Thank you for your interest in our financial statements, and I hope that you find them informative and inspiring. As you can see from our statement of operations, our total revenues were 767,000, which is a slight decrease of 5% from the prior year. This is mainly due to receiving lower grants and government emergency assistance and the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on our fundraising activities. However, we are grateful for the generous donations from our supporters, which increased by 3% from the prior year. We also received some valuable donations in kind, such as food bank donations that help provide for our programs and services to the children and families in our community. Our total expenditures were 772,000, which is a decrease of 9% from the prior year. This is mainly due to the lower wages and benefits expense as we had staff move on from various positions in the organization. We also reduced our program supplies and admission fees as we had to cancel or modify some of our activities due to funding gaps and restrictions. As a result, we had a small deficiency of revenues over expenditures of 4,656, which is an improvement of 89% from the prior year. Our projected deficit for this fiscal year was 38,000, so we are pleased that the actual deficit was extremely small. This shows that our team was able to adapt to challenging circumstances and that we were able to maintain our financial sustainability. Our statement of financial position shows a total asset balance of 251,000, which is a decrease of 22% from the prior year. This is mainly due to the decrease in our deferred contributions, therefore impacting cash, as we used some of our reserves to fund our operations and programs. The remaining change in cash was due to moving some of the balance into short-term investments to use for future needs, as well as continuing to invest in assets like our equipment and website to improve our operations and online presence. Overall, we have a healthy liquidity ratio of 2.1, which means that we have enough current assets to cover our current liabilities. Our total liabilities balance of 109,000 is a decrease of 38% from the prior year. This is mainly due to the decrease in our deferred contributions as we recognize more revenue than we received in grants during the year. The loan payable of 30,000, which is part of the Canada Emergency Business Account Program, is showing as current in the 2023 year end since it was to be repaid within a year. This loan was interest-free and 25% of the balance originally received was forgiven since we repaid it by January 18th, 2024. Our net asset balance of 142,000 is a decrease of 3% from the prior year due to the deficiency of revenues over expenditures that we incurred during the year. Despite the current year's deficiency, the net asset balance is still in a large positive position, indicating that we are in a good financial position and have been able to continually reinvest earnings from prior years to use in the future. In conclusion, I would like to thank you all for your support and trust in our organization. Despite the difficulties and uncertainties that we faced in 2023, we were able to continue our mission of providing spiritual, character building, and leadership development opportunities to children and families in need. We are proud of the impact that we have made in our community and we look forward to serving more people in the future. Thank you for your attention.